from my last series of video where i explained concept of harmonic keys how we got to the concept of harmonic keys in our today's video we are going to be seeing how to identify or to get the camelot notation of tracks just as you can see this arrangement remember as i said camelot notation and the regular notation are not the same so even though they have sheer similarity but camelot notation at key are not the same so for you to do that you first need to come to your software we are going to be seeing this from a virtual dj perspective a serato dj perspective as well as record box of course you can go for that to other softwares too but first you come to this particular point on your track that is the folder that contains your track you see it here but if you cannot see it here don't worry just right click on this point you see a host of items that you can add you can click this harmonic notation or harmonics once you click it it will be added here to be added to this particular column or if it is inside you can drag it and expand it the way you want you can also add your key you can see the key and you can see harmonic notation that's to tell you the harmonic notation and key are not the same so even though they are similar but they have different rules so for djing you have to work with harmonic keys not just keys since the arrangement of number 1 to 12 a, a and b a b you get to see the arrangement you can see it is telling me all the notations here and for you to get this from each track you have to click on that particular track right click on it then go to analyze you get to see where you have analyze here analyze for bpm once you analyze for bpm it will automatically do the analysis and it will bring out every information that you are seeing here then for you to see this harmonic notation after loading the track on your virtual dj you go to this very point top here you see you see get harmonic notation now it's showing me the harmonic notation if you tap it again you can change it you see it's now showing me the key if you tap it again it will change to another value so it's going to be showing you different different values based on what information that you are having here you see it's 04a which is the same to the 4a here so that is how to get the harmonic notation for a track using virtual dj then for serato dj so before you do that make sure you disconnect your controller then go to this analyze option where you are seeing it select the key or set key then it's going to bring up the analyze option the entire track by the time you click analyze track it's going to analyze all your track for you or you can drag and drop it on that particular point of the analysis after everything is going to show you the list of the harmonic keys or bpm or other relevant information as it is the virtual dj then you select the top where you go to where you select key and then it's going to show you the key of the track in this case the harmonic notation of the track which you are going to see by the left hand side or right sorry right hand side then you drag it to the middle when you drag it to the middle you get to see the arrangement of the keys with the colors as they match each notation of the track on the list which will now enable you to know what harmonic keys and how to go about it just as i clearly explained to you in my series of previous videos then when we go to record box so on your record box software after launching it, you go to your settings at the top right hand corner. After clicking on it, you will see views. When you click on views, you scroll down. You will now see an option that gives you alphanumeric settings. Once you do that, it's going to appear on the list down here. You get to see it. You can right click on the top and then select your key. Then it will automatically show here by the right hand side with the other relevant information that you want whenever you load the track into the record box dj so if you are lost with the earlier explanation don't worry this is another way again on your serato dj go to the top right hand corner and click on settings once you have this camelot notation loaded you are now set to go all you have to do is to go back to see i'm going to show you the little things you need to know about the camelot notation at this very stage the wheel that is showing the different notation then you get to see how to make use of this key notation all you need to do at it look at the keys here as they arrange you we are going to pick, pick letter 3a which is the minor then with the, with the major then we'll get to see how we move from one notation to another you pick an imaginary t like this you pick an imaginary t like this and bring it on the camelot notation this is the t then once you put it there you will now see that this is your 3b it's going to work with 3a and possibly 2a if you are going up or 4a if you are coming down it's like so that is how you pick it you use it the same the principle is going to be applicable if you are moving it to this for you put the t on it it will be this way and this way so that is how you do the mixing so that you have a perfect harmonic key mixing because remember the key of a track is just a single key that is talking about a particular element but the harmonic key is a complete concept of the entire elements that have been put together just as the complete key 
it's just for the melody but the harmonic key compresses that of the beat and everything compressed together so thank you for being there i'm sure you really get value for this video don't forget to keep a day don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow and as i continue to give you more informative and more educative content like this catch you